Hello Leo, it's my lady from A Lady's Way Tarot and I'm coming to do your weekly love reading for the week of October 2nd through 9th, 2017. The cards I am using today are Oracle of the Mermaid cards by Lucy Cavendish. And I close off with my Miss Cleo cards. I like to read those straight out the book to ensure you get your full message. I want to thank everybody for like, sharing, subscribing, and setting up personal readings with me. If you would like a personal reading, check in the description box below. Email me and we can set something up. Other than that, check your sun, moon, and rising signs. And let's get this show on the road, Leo. Alright, what's going on for the Leo? Leo, Leo, Leo love reading. October 2nd through 9th, 2017. Leo love reading. October 2nd. 2nd. Through my 2017. Leo, 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 Leo. Leo. Alright, seems like something has been said and it's being said over and over. Okay, so it's some secrets going out about something that is said. So maybe some secrets going on behind your back. Or you got some secrets behind someone in back. But these secrets, I feel like they may be about a pregnancy. Or they could be about a new beginning. Somebody knows something about your partner having something else. Or somebody knows you have something else. You Somebody that knows your partner. What is this secret? Mm. Okay, so it seems like whatever the secret is, it's emotionally draining to you. It's crazy because it seems like you feel bad about what happened feel bad or they feel bad mm. yeah it seems like somebody had to give up something okay but we just gonna keep going and hopefully the Cleo cards straighten it up if we don't get straightened up let's ask what's this siren about what is this siren about for the Leo what is this siren about for the Leo love reading October 2 through 9 2017 Okay, so it's saying something about destiny. What is this destiny about? What is this siren of destiny about? Okay, so it's not giving us anything. It's just basically saying that there's a secret that's emotionally draining to you about some kind of sacrifice you had. And then it's saying like, the siren, something that's been going over and over, is future fate about somebody that you love. All right, let's see one more card. What is this it's an erotica card about? What is this divine sensuality about for the Leo? Okay, it seems like somebody might be doing something for her power struggle. I mean, maybe you guys know what's going on, but I don't. I'm not even going to sit up here and act. Let's just keep going. What's going on with the Leo, 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 Leo love reading? All right, so it seems like this secret, whatever it is, is like you found something. You found exactly what you need. All right, let's keep going. Leo, Leo, Leo. It's crazy. Because it seemed like you found exactly what you need, but it seemed like your friends... They might be talking about what you need to do or trying to help you out, but... They sort of talking about you as well as talking to you. Wow. So it seems like... All right, we're just going to flip this over. There's definitely some kind of secrets going on here. And it seems like somebody been trying to tell you a secret. Been tell you a secret and it's just like, it's just what you need to to leave to to stay you know whatever it is but i feel like somebody these friends of yours they may also just be trying to like manipulate the situation to get you to do what you what they want you to do 
So it seems like somebody keeps telling you there's another relationship going on or these people might be telling you you need to get another relationship because they feel like that your heart is not open to the person that you with or the situation, you know. They don't feel like you love your lover, your partner, your husband, your wife, whatever. They don't feel like you love them and they like you, hey, go get somebody new. And I feel like in some cases you did get somebody you knew, but now you got to get rid of them. Yeah. Yeah, and this over here, it makes me feel like... I mean, I think it was just supposed to happen for you to... It's crazy. Meet this person and sleep with this person. Because I feel like it might... Bring you, I think, bring you up mentally. That's what I'm feeling like. I don't know what that means. Maybe you guys can tell me. But let's see what these Cleo cards can say. All right, what's going on for the Leo? Leo, Leo. Leo love reading. Leo love reading. What's going on? For the Leo love reading, October 2nd. So that was the sun. So it's going to be some happiness coming out of here. Leo, Leo, Leo. At least for some of you. October 2nd through 9th. Jeez. All right. So it seems like this was supposed to happen because it seemed like this third party that you've been with is the person you're supposed to be with. So these people, they were talking about you, but they like, you don't love the person you with, you need to go. So they ended up getting you with this other person who is like less on your level, but it seems like they're making you happy. I saw the three of wands and, you know, that's like going out, leaving what you got behind. And then the sun card, like you're going off to be with somebody new and be happy. But this could be happening to you as well. All right, what's going on with the Leo, 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 Leo love reading October 2nd through 9th, 2017. Leo, Leo, Leo. Mm. Okay, somebody is not giving an F about their partner's feelings or somebody's feelings. They like, mm, I didn't play that long enough. Their heart is closed. Yeah, it seems like somebody just know that there's no coming back. But I feel like it was a little bit put in the ear about what they friends. But, you know, reality is reality. You know, if it ain't working, it ain't working. So it's crazy. By leaving this person and going somewhere else, you're going to be coming out of heartbreak. It is crazy. I mean, yeah, I mean, you living with a heavy heart, being with somebody that you don't want to be with. Oh, Leo, you just... Your energy is all over the place right now. I think it's ready for the bottom card. I'm going to just put all this other stuff on top and flip it. Yeah, some things are just not worth working for. That's what I'm getting here. All right, so we got the Queen of Cups reversed. And this says, distinguished female concerned with public opinion, slightly arrogant, look behind and smile before extending a hand. This is like cutthroat. I don't care, you know. I'll be um cordial with you, but this is not happening. So we have the two of cups and it says this card is a union between two people coming together. A time of understanding between the two. And I feel like like once you tell your partner you're getting ready to leave them for somebody else, they gonna understand, like, yeah, you're right, I'm not happy here either. You know, and that's going to be a weight lifted off your heart. Like, okay, I don't feel as bad, you know. I don't feel as bad because you and then you want to go too. All right. So, we got the three of swords. Emotional denial, lack of focus or direction, and harsh self-criticism. Self yeah, I feel like before this understanding was happening, you was like hard on yourself. But I feel like once the conversation happened of what and why, I feel like it was... It was okay after that. It's just the feelings that I'm getting, at least for a little while. 
All right, so we got the Seven of Swords reverse. It's a result product of your labor and wisdom and outside support. Yeah, labor and wisdom, like you coming wise, you've been working hard, you know, on the side with this person. And it's like, uh, you know, your friends is telling you stuff to do. And I mean, this was happening. I feel like it's getting ready to be a happy time right now, even if it's just for a little bit. But it's like anything is better than living with somebody who's not there. You know what I'm saying? All right. But that's all I have for you guys. Um, if you want a personal reading, description box below. Other than that, have a great weekend. Check your sun, moon, and rising signs.